Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is just an intro to this week's um, video. So tomorrow is October 1st um, and it's Monday and it's the start of a new month, the start of a new week. And I just wanted to try something for the month of October to see how, if I could do this. So as you guys know, if you haven't heard me talk about in my previous videos, I um, struggle with PCOS rheumatoid arthritis, and I believe those two things are causing my infertility. I've heard that the keto diet really helps you lose weight. I thought that I would give that a try. Um, so this week I'm going to be filming like what I eat during the day. And I'm also going to be going back to the gym tomorrow. Um, not to do anything hard for a workout, but just to get my knee moving. Um, I'm going to do the bike. I'm going to try to go four times this week. Um, one of my girlfriends and I are going to be going together. So um, that is my plan and I thought maybe if I actually like posted this on YouTube it would keep me motivated or like if I filmed my meals it would keep me motivated to want to keep doing it because I've tried it before and I always get the and I always get the keto flu which you feel like you have the flu for a couple days because your body is adjusting to being in the ketosis state. Um, I just really need to lose some weight. I'm not super overweight. I would love to lose about 50 pounds um and I know it's not going to come off overnight but I've heard that this diet is really good for people who need to lose weight um and I'm hoping that it helps with my infertility so I kind of wanted to start this little journey and bring you guys along with me um I have I don't know much about keto my husband has done it a couple times but he's we're we're both not like religiously on it um, so if you have like any good recipes or any good advice please leave them um, below in the comments I would love to hear them um, because my problem is finding things to eat. Um, I watch one girl, her name is Lauren, um, I will link her channel below, but she's really the one that inspired me to want to do this and stick with it. Um, so if you haven't checked out her channel, uh, check it out. She's got some really good recipes and stuff, um, so that's where um, I've been getting a majority of my ideas from. Um, she has this like Mississippi pot roast and I'm making that tomorrow night. And it's going to be about two or three dinners for my husband and I. So, yeah, that's my plan. So, this video is going to be about me um, starting the keto diet. And I'm going to just try and do it for the month of October and see where it gets me. So, four weeks, 31 days. I hope I can do it because I am a binge eater. Um, I haven't actually mentioned that in any of my videos. But I, um, I do binge eat. Um, I'm an emotional eater. And it isn't just like I'll pig out like I go out to lunch almost every day. It's really unhealthy It's getting really expensive. My husband is like look we got to fix this um, Not saying that he's not saying that I need to lose weight, but he is saying that he's gonna help me do this um, He is a big workout fanatic. He works out every day. He's the cross-country coach. He eats healthy pretty much daily um, So he's he's gonna try really hard to help me and I could not be any more appreciative of that So let's get into the video so, uh, I'm going to be doing the keto diet. Yeah. I'm going to put it on YouTube so that I stick with it. Yeah. I'm going to try it for the month of October. Okay. The whole month? No weekends? You don't have 50 plus pounds to lose. Yeah, true. You're a skinny mother. So. Not really. I'm three. Yeah. Yeah. Are. Yeah. So, any tips? Mm -hmm. You do this more than I do. Eat a lot of cheese. Well, we bought a lot of cheese today. Yeah, a lot of cheese. I plan on doing a lot of eggs and bacon in the morning with some fruit. Yeah, that gets old though. That sucks. I know. And I hate eggs in the morning. <clears throat> but. Avocados. Making that. I don't like avocados. That's my thing. I'm so picky. Yeah. I'm literally the pickiest eater in the world. So that's why this is always so hard for me. So this video is going to be filmed on my phone because um, at work and stuff I'm not going to pull my camera out, I'm just going to whip my phone out. But I thought I would show you guys what I got for the week um, to start the keto diet. And some of this stuff, I'm kind of doing like the lazy keto. It's not necessarily going to be like the full on keto because I need to start out slow otherwise I know myself and I'm going to fail. So some of this stuff does have carbs in it but I try to do like low carb like items so this is what I got for the week so this is a little bit of an overview of the stuff that we got this week for the 
keto diet. So starting over here, um, I figured for snacks, I would use some of this old world hard salami. It only has one gram of carbs. And then I figured I'd put like a little bit of cream cheese on it with um, a half a pickle. I feel like and that only has one gram of carbs in it. And the cream cheese has um, one gram too. So that's a really good like snack option for like in between my breakfast and my lunch. Um, I got these drinks because I put my mayo and acetal in it in the morning. This only has one carb, one sugar. It has 20 grams of protein and 5 grams of fiber. And I, it helps me not be able to taste it. So I thought I'd have one of those. And then um, I forgot to pull out the eggs. But we do have eggs. Um, we have plenty of bacon. Um, plenty of cheese. And I got some of these beef snack bites um, to go with the cheese. For suppers, we have like some different vegetables. We have Brussels sprouts, mushroom. We got two things of asparagus. I got a salad. There's some shrimp in the freezer that I'm gonna make a salad out of. I got for tomorrow night for dinner um, is that beef roast, chuck roast that I was talking to you about here. I'm gonna throw some carrots in there um, and do some like other seasonings. So I'll show you how I do that later on. And then for another snack, um, I picked up this. I know you're not really supposed to have dairy but I'm kind of doing it the lazy way. So I got the Carb Master Strawberry Banana and it only has um, five grams of carbs in it. So that'll probably, not, probably be my highest gram um, of carbs that I'll have throughout the day. And then I'm gonna throw some blueberries in there and I also got some strawberries to eat with breakfast. Um, for meat, we got, not the pizza, that would be Matt's. Um, I just got some cooked shrimp. Um, some, I don't know, turkey burger. Um, I got some turkey burgers because those have zero carbs in them. Um, we have some, we have some pork chops in here. And I also bought some orange roughy, um, to put, well, like, and I'll put vegetables and stuff with that. So that's kind of our meat for the week. Um, oh, and we also have some uh, chicken breasts. So that is kind of what's on the agenda for this week. I don't think I did too bad grocery shopping. Um, like I said, I'm kind of doing it the lazy way to start out. So this yogurt is probably going to be the main thing that has carbs in it. Um, and I also learned from Lauren's video that I need to be having my electrolytes. So I'm gonna pick up some Gatorade tomorrow to get my electrolytes in and I'm gonna make sure I drink plenty of water. Um, so yeah, that is a little update on uh, what I got to this week for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. My main thing is like in between meals. So we'll see how this goes. Hey guys, it is 5.16 a.m. on Monday morning and I'm heading to the gym. Um, I like to get my workouts done in the morning so that I can just relax at night because that's usually when Matt is at home. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to the gym. Okay guys, so it's 6.06 .06 now. <laughs> it's still dark out. I just got done with my workout, like I said in the previous clip from yesterday. I'm not doing anything hard. I'm just doing the bike to try and get my knee moving. So I did about 40 minutes on there. Um, so I'm going to go home um, and I have to leave for work in about oh, a little over an hour. So I'm going to shower and um, get tonight's supper prepped and my lunch packed. So I'll show you what I do when I get home. Okay, so I have some bacon cooking, some eggs. I'm getting ready to make... Uh, or cut up some strawberries to go along with it. And then I'm also going to have one of my Slim Fast drinks. Um, so I can put my Mayo and Acetol in it. So. so this is what I take in the mornings. And this is what I pour in here. And then I just put the lid on it. And shake it up. Alright, and that's breakfast. I like my bacon really crispy. <laughs> and then my drink. So I'm making my lunch, so I'm gonna have these for lunch. And then this for a snack. 
Okay, so this is my snack for the day. And this is my lunch. I got my roll-ups and then I got my um, yogurt. And I'm going to put some blueberries in the yogurt. So I ran out of time to put the pot roast in. So Matt is just going to set out steaks and I'm going to cook those when I get home. And then I'll just do the pot roast tomorrow. Um, I thought I'd have plenty of time and then I had to shower after my workout and get ready. So um, yeah, we're going to be having probably steak tonight. So yeah. So this is dinner tonight. Steak and veggies. And Matt is taunting me with this. Sorry. That's not fair. My first day and you can't even not have potatoes in front of me. I'm resisting the urge. But yeah, this is what's for supper. So that was day one of the keto diet. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Um, I feel like crap. I already have what is known as the keto flu, even on day one. It just hits me so hard. So um, I've I'm in the keto for beginners group on Facebook. So I asked them like what I could do um, to like help me through it because I, this is where I, I get every time and then I give up because I feel like crap. So if any of you have any suggestions in the comments, please leave them below. Also, like I said, I'm doing the like lazy keto diet. So I'm not doing it like hardcore. I'm just kind of doing it to change my diet up and hopefully that will get me motivated to keep losing weight. Um, but I think I did pretty good today. So please don't like criticize me in the comments that I ate this or I ate that. Like I know it's not perfect. Um, I'm learning so again I could use all the help I could get um, if you want to see any more of these like what and I eat in a day videos let me know I know this is an infertility channel but I'm really hoping that this keto way of eating will help with the infertility um, so if you have like any success stories or any good recipes or anything like that just leave them down in the comments I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one